Okay, now I'm back once again for another game for the Wii, but this time we're doing another game show. I will get back to the prices right soon, but this time I'm going to do another game review now, and it's another popular game show. And this game show is going to be my first game of... It's my first game of Jeopardy for the Wii, so let's get started, shall we? Now, this will likely take at least two or three parts to get filmed. Because there's a lot of clues in the game. And... So... This is going to be a good game of Jeopardy, so... Just want to show you the logos. I know this is especially for Aubrey S. 1987 and Matthew B. 2. 1688 and Goblin Fan 2007 and Leafs Fan 18 as a bunch of other Jeopardy fans out there. So... I know the Chris 488 even filmed a video of me playing the game for the Wii back when he was visiting. That was posted on his, so this is my first official game. So, let's show it. Here's some contestant intros. <laughs> Alex Trebek out there. Yep. Thank you, Johnny. I both say welcome. This is Jeopardy. Yep, and it is, so. Welcome to Jeopardy, everyone. Let's get started. Gonna start the game. Yes. Gonna choose me, because you, you know you, you don't have to just use just the pr pr players, you can also use me's for this game too, and I'm gonna use my me, so let's move on. Yep, I'm ready. Easy. I don't have Wii Speak, unfortunately, unlike Aubrey, but that's okay. I can still play, so let's start the game. Here's some trivia. Now, take, here's Johnny Gilbert to announce it. Please welcome our contestants. Player one. That's me. Player two. Player three. And now, here is the host of Jeopardy, Alex Trebek. Thanks, Johnny. Welcome to Jeopardy, everyone. Let's go to work in the Jeopardy round. We're going to get some good clues here. The first round of play today has these categories for you. Adventures in the air. Nice. Meet the Robinsons. Ooh, good. That's my mom. Ah. Unofficial state nicknames. Fun. Literature. And? And busy as a beaver. A lot of clues, a lot of categories. Player one, make a selection. While pointing the Wii remote at the screen, press the A button to select the clue. Let's go with unofficial state nicknames for 200. Seward's Icebox. What is Alaska? Okay, player one. Use the Wii remote or press the corresponding... Yes! That's right. Way to go. Got it. On the board. Player one, back to you. Let's go for 400. The Switzerland of America and the highest state. Yes, player one. Uh... What is... What is Montana? That's not Ooh, it. I got it wrong. Any other takers? Maybe it's Colorado. Here is what we wanted. Colorado. Ah, oh, it is Colorado. Sorry, Uncle Peter, if you're watching yeah, this. One. Okay, 600. The birthplace of eight presidents. What is Virginia? Player one. Right. You're out of the hole. Player one. You 800. Can, please. All right, here with the clue is Kelly. Though it's called the Star Spangled Banner State, this is its flag. What is Maryland? It's player one. Wow. 
So, you again, player one. Finish the category for a thousand. The coal state and the birth state of the nation. Okay, player one. Okay. What is. What is Pennsylvania? That is correct. Okay. Player one, back to you for our next selection. Let's go with Adventures in the Air for 200. Hitting a speed of about 800 miles per hour, Chuck Yeager broke this barrier in October of 1947. What is the sound barrier? It's player one. <laughs> Select again. 400. In 1907, Paul Cornu became the first man to fly freely in one of these horizontally rotored aircraft. Yes, player one. What's a jet? <gasps> okay, I guess it's a helicopter. Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? I've got jets are vertically rotored. Here's the response we were looking for. A helicopter. Player one, pick again. 600. August 1983 saw the first night launch of this reusable U.S. orbital vehicle. Let's hear it, player one. Uh, what is a space shuttle? Yeah, right. You get to pick again. 800. Taking 16 hours in 1919... British aviators Alcock and Brown became the first to cross this large body of water non-stop. Player one? What is... What is the Pacific Ocean? Okay. Maybe it's the Atlantic. Anyone else want to hazard a guess on this? Here's what we were looking for. The Atlantic Ocean. Yeah, that's it. Please pick again, player one. One hundred. One thousand. In 1909, Louis Blériot became the first person to fly in a plane over this, between Great Britain and France. Okay, player one. What is the English Channel? Yep. You get to pick again, player one. Let's go with That's My Ma for 200. In 1758, Ben Franklin issued his last publication of this annual. What's an almanac? It's player one. Poor Richard's Almanac. That is correct. You again, player one. 400. Game fish of the family Istiophoridae with a pointed snout. Hmm. Let's hear it, player one. What's a mackerel? Sorry. Oh. Anyone else? Mm -hmm. The correct response is the marlin. Marlin. Ah. Layer one. Six hundred. A doctor who specializes in the treatment of skin diseases. What's a dermatologist? Yes, player one. Good. Please pick again. Eight hundred. And I'll hand it off to Kelly. Oh, boy. silhouette is seen here. This is the state where I live in. What is Massachusetts? <laughs> player one. One thousand. Doctor Faustus, playwright. Who is Marlowe? Yes, player one. Yeah, Christopher Marlowe. Right. Okay, halfway Player done. One, back to you. Let's go with Busy as a Beaver for 200. Beavers have six of these on their heads in two sets of three. One is transparent and helps in swimming underwater. Ooh, I don't know this one. Samuel, what do you say? Islands? Okay. So, choose again. Player three. 400. This five letter beaver home may have separate entrances and a carpeted floor. Hopefully, no elks. 
Oh, let me see. Player one? What's a lodge? That's it. Select again. 600. Of one, five, or 15, the rough maximum number of minutes a beaver can hold its breath underwater. Let's hear it, player one. I'll say 15. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's it. We return to you, player one. 800. The natural enemies of the beaver include bobcats, coyotes, and this glutton associated with Michigan. Associated with Michigan. Okay, player one. Uh, what's a wolverine? Yes. Hmm. Player one. One thousand. The coat of arms of this company, founded in 1670, displays four furry beavers. Hmm. I don't know what it is. Player three. Good. Ah, Hudson Bay Company. That's what they were looking for. You again, for. player three. Meet the Robinsons for 200. In 1947, he shattered baseball's color line. Who is Jackie Robinson? Okay, player one. Mm. Right you are. We return to you, player one. 400. Like a famous mister of song, it was the nickname of tap dancer Bill Robinson. Who is Mr. Bulljangles? Let's hear it, player one. Good for you. <laughs> Select again. 600. This Motown legend co-wrote My Girl and Tears of a Clown. Who is Smokey Robinson? It's player one. Hey, you're right. We got three minutes left here. Player one. 800. It's a daily double! It's the I daily have 8,000, but... You are in first place. Please select your wager. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wager 2,000. That'll put me at 10,000 if I'm right. And the daily double clue. In 1951, he defeated Jake LaMotta to become middleweight boxing champ. Who is... Who is Sugar Ray Robinson? That puts you even further yeah, ahead. Yeah, that's right. Please pick again. Finish the category for 1,000. was the real name of the Robinson who used this first name on the stage. I'm taking a take gamble. Yes, player one. Who is... Who is Edward? You are correct. Mm -hmm. You get to pick again, player one. Now the final category. The ban on this D.H. Lawrence book was lifted in 1959 in the United States. D.H. Lawrence, let's okay, see. Okay, player one. Who is Lady Chatterley's lover? That's correct. Okay. Player one. 400. Enrico Garcia Lorca wrote a famous one of these for the death of a bullfighter. Let's see, it would be a... Yes, uh, player one. It would be a lament. Right. That's kind of sad. Player one. 600. So when Lilac's last in the dooryard bloomed was an elegy to him. Let's see. It's player one. Who is Abraham Lincoln? Yep. All right, two more to go, and then we're done for the first round. Player one. Polonius tells this character... This above all, to thine own self be true. Player one? Who is Lodovico? Ooh. Ooh. Okay. We'll try to finish Any up quickly. Takers? Let's hear it. Samuel, will you say? Larardis? Yes. All right, and now here's the final clue for the for the Jeopardy round. Let's have a look at the thousand dollar clue. This woman was the subject of Petrarch's Canzonieri. Woman, let's see. It's player one. Who is Lisa? Sorry, that's wrong. Mm. Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? Okay. What is he gonna say? Here's the correct response. Laura. Okay. Player two, you're going first in Double Jeopardy. And we'll do Double Jeopardy in the next video.